get cooking, cooking, cooking with Amy. Let's get cooking. Hey everybody, I love a good Reuben sandwich or anything to do with Reuben. It's a great way to use up some leftover corned beef, which I always do around St. Patty's Day. But if you don't have leftover corned beef, just go to the deli and uh, take the great flavors of Reuben and make my warm Reuben dip. It's fantastic. Now you can just bake it in a casserole dish, but I love to bake it in a bread bowl. So I went to festival and picked up a nice round loaf of unsliced, you wanna make sure it's unsliced, rye or pumpernickel bread. You can actually call ahead just to make sure they've got some on hand. So basically I'm cutting a hole into my bread bowl and then I'm just gonna get in there with my hands and create a space where our dip is going to go. And you can keep that bread, actually, some of the insides of the bread for dipping and dunking. So I'm just going to kind of put that over to the side. All right, now for the dip part of this recipe. Starts out with two blocks of softened cream cheese. And I'm going to do this in my food processor. You can also use a mixer. This makes a really big batch. So you could certainly cut the recipe in half and make a little less, but it will disappear, trust me on that. Okay, so two blocks of cream cheese. Next, we're gonna add to that sour cream, mayonnaise, and I'm using mayonnaise, not the salad dressing type. That's a little bit too sweet for this recipe. A few dashes of hot sauce, and it's not gonna be spicy, this is just gonna give it some great flavor. And some scallions or green onions. So I'm going to throw those in there, save a few for the top. I'm going to get this guy going. And we're going to add a few more ingredients. I really just want to break up the cream cheese. And sometimes you have to get in there and just kind of, it's not quite soft enough, just move it around a little bit. So I mentioned corned beef. I love corned beef. I make a corned beef every St. Patty's Day for sure, but if you don't want to make a full corned beef roast, you can actually just go to the deli and pick up some sliced corned beef. So it's a Reuben dip. It's got the great flavors of Reuben. So we're going to add some diced corned beef, some sauerkraut, my other favorite parts of a Reuben, and some Swiss cheese. And when I do that now, I'm just going to pulse it just a couple times just to mix everything together. Get in there one more time. Now you want to bake this. This is a dip that's supposed to be served warm. So preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Load up your bread bowl, or if you're just going to do this in the casserole dish, that works fine too. So put your dip ingredients into the bread bowl. And obviously the bigger the bowl, bread bowl, the more dip you're gonna fit in there. So if you've got a little extra dip that won't fit in there, you can just bake that in a side casserole dish. So I like to take some foil, kind of wrap it around, and then get it in the oven until the, the bread crisps up. It takes about 15 to 30 minutes. The bread's gonna get nice and toasted, and more importantly, that dip is just gonna warm up, the cheese is gonna melt, and it's gonna be fantastic. So here got, I've got the dip, and I love to serve it surrounded by little pieces of rye bread or chunks of rye bread for dipping. You can throw a few extra scallions on the top. This one is always a winner, and again, it's a great way to use up leftover corned beef. My warm Reuben dip baked in a bread bowl, it's delicious, you need to make it, and we'll put the recipe on our website. You can also pick it up at any area festival food.